Oh, I've been waiting all day for this one. Hi, everybody, alongside Ray Ferraro and Carlin Bathe. I'm James Sapolsky, and I am fired up for this one tonight here for EA Sports. lined up in the middle we are ready to get things underway and there's the puck drop enough talk it's time to find out what this is all about Vancouver's looking to break out slides the puck into the offensive zone and we're going to get a face off after the offside still early on in this frame James and Ray with you so glad you could join us we're still scoreless. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. The Giants take possession here in the open ice. Cammy's got it in the offensive zone. On the wraparound! Bernier's on top of the puck and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. It's a chance on the rush. Two on one. And that shot goes off the side of the net. Can't make the connection on the pass. And the puck leaves the zone going back to center ice. Fails to find the open man. Here we go. Puck's in deep. Lou's got it in the defensive zone. The Giants gain the zone. Into the corner now. Pass broken up. Centering pass. Oh, and they couldn't complete that. Makes a move in front. And he keeps that one out. I'm always impressed with this. I don't know if the goalies really see it through all that traffic, James, but they get themselves into the best position they can. They cover as much net as they can, and they make the save like this through traffic. Montreal's got it now. That goes off the plate. That is sweeping up the trash there. Good save. Off to the corner. Everybody can readjust. Montreal's got a hold of it along the wall. Here's a shot. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Moves it over to Cammy. Cut 
into the slot. It's in. He scores. Vancouver's weathered the storm here, and they've taken a one nothing lead. Always better to play from in front, and they'll want to expand this lead as quickly as they can. And he takes the feed. Poked away in the neutral zone by Rock. Camacho's got it through center. The Giants have a hold of it in the defensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Rock. Nice pass. Here they come on the rush. Here's the pass. Scores! And they've even the score on that one. Even though they've been behind, James, I think they've played a pretty good game here. They haven't let the game escape from them. They haven't chased it. Now they've got the equalizer, and they've got the momentum. That's a bullseye. He gets the puck that close to the net. He never misses. What a quick shot. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Cini. Vancouver's got the puck along the boards. Couldn't make the connection on the play. Quick feeds the Spence. Here's a shot. Open pass it stop here. He swallows that puck up as he slides across in the butterfly to make the save. Scooped up along the wall by Camacho. And he denied him there. Tendy's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James. He needed a cover there. Well past the midway mark of this period. We are all tied up in this one. While the setters are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. And now it's over to Camacho. Oh, this is bad luck, James. He stops the puck, but he can't find it. And as he's looking for it, he ends up pushing it in the net. Montreal's got a one-goal lead here in the first. What's the message on the bench, Ray? The message is to be aggressive, to get another one, to try and stretch a lead that you've just built. Vancouver's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Sends it over to Stinger. Moves it to the middle. And he denies that great opportunity there. And now he moves it to Alfredson. Denies him on the play. Vancouver's gained possession along the boards. Moves it to the offensive zone. Nice feed. With some open space at center. Montreal's got the puck. Down the left wing, across into the offensive zone. Played big in the moment there. Here in the later stages of this period, Montreal's got the momentum with a one-goal lead. They'd love to add to that. Spence has won the draw here in the offensive zone. And he takes a shot and makes the save. And he keeps possession. Picks up the puck. From the point. And that goes wide. Moves it quickly over to Alfredson. Oh, here we go. This team knows how to turn it up another gear, and they have done that here. Cutting to the middle. And the defensive team's got it now. And they'll skate it out of the zone. Oh, what a way to end the period as the pressure ends at the buzzer. One period down, still two to go. We'll get a clean sheet of ice and come back with more shortly. Period number two seems ready to go. The teams are set. My broadcast partner, Ray Ferrar, was also set. Let's do this. 
The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Well, this one underway. Ray, give us an update on what your assessment is to this point. Vancouver's first period is nothing to write home about. I mean, they, they started slow. They got... There's a part of this game that looked like it was going to get away from them. Yet they hung in there. The goalie made a couple of good stops. And here they are. They get the big play, and this game is tied. He doesn't miss very often from in here. You get tight to the net. One of the most accurate shooters in the game. Spence has won the draw here in the open ice. Directs it on over to Alfredson. Slides the puck across to Watt. Moves it to Stinger. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. And he takes the feed. Here's a short pass to Spence. Goes right to the crease. Misses a golden opportunity there. They've been trying to work their way into the middle of the ice. He gets there, just misses the net. He's got to take that one step further and test the goalie. On the attack along the boards. Oh, a true warrior to block that. Cammy's into the offensive zone now on the attack. Montreal's got it in their own zone. Good stand-up hit. Poked away at center by Camacho. Montreal's got the puck here in the open ice. Vancouver's got control of it now from their own end. They've got numbers here. Sends it across. Stopped by the goaltender. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Still lots of time left in the period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Takes it into the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. We see goaltenders in this butterfly practicing it every day. Positioning, keeping their arms tight, making sure that they stay in the center of the puck. Quick pass to Spence. And he takes the dish. The Giants have it from their own end. The Blazers ready to go on the attack. Scott's got it now deep inside his own end. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. Here he is, takes the shot, handles that one. Bernier's gonna smother it to get a whistle. Can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. Lou's heat seeker zone ability is that long range wrister that he likes to throw towards the net, guys. Despite the distance, though, he still gets power and accuracy behind his shot. Montreal's got a hold of the puck. Can't make it work. A chance in front! Oh, that's a big time save. I think he got him with a toe. That happened so quickly, that low slot shot. The goaltender's in position and he makes the save. On man rush. A centering chance. And that's intercepted. All alone. He scores. Boy, he didn't take much time at all. He was so tight to the net and he makes a nice boost to finish it off. That was filthy. Montreal's jumped out to a one-goal lead here in the second. Breaking the tie was critical. Now you can play in front and try and dictate the pace of the game. Directed over to Wah. Quick feed to Spence. Here's a chance! And he easily stops that one. No room for the shooter. The goaltender snuffed it out. Vancouver's ready to go on the attack. Stinger's got it into offensive territory. Nice stop by Tendi. Vancouver's got the puck in their own end. Couldn't catch up to that pass. Moves the puck to Alfredson. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. Passes the puck over to Lou. A chance in front. And that goes off a stick and off target. Montreal's got a hold of it against the wall. Chopping away at it. Wicked slot shot. Smart defensive play to tap it away. He grabs the puck here at the point. Great chance for Brown to oh. And he was right there to make the stop on that play. Sini stick handling in his own zone. 
And now he angles it across to Cammy. Less than a minute to go here in the second. Montreal's got the puck along the wall. Passes on over to Watt. Puck knocked loose in neutral zone. And there's the horn. Two down, one more to go. Both teams will get a chance to uh, catch their breath and get ready for a big third period next. It's about to go down, period number three. James Savalski, Ray Ferraro, ready to bring you the action. And they have dropped the puck here on the final frame. Once again, a scores his second of the game. Now here's a little math for you, James. One's good, two's better. He finishes off this opportunity, and now it's a great night. The Blazers have found themselves a huge goal to start this third period. You go into the intermission up by one, and a lot of the talk is, let's expand the lead. Well, it hasn't taken them five minutes, and now they lead by two. Camacho's taking it from his own end. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. Grabs it in his own end. Montreal's grabbed a hold of the puck. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Moves it quickly over to Cami. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. And that's broken up. Here we go. Two on one. Steps in front of the shot. Receives the pass. Moves it to Camacho. And here's the pass to Spence. The Blazers carry it along the wall. The Giants scoop it up along the boards. Here's an odd man rush. It's a two on one. He scores, but don't turn this one off yet. Well, you better not. We're still here. If we're here, you might be here too. Vancouver's third period deficit suddenly doesn't seem so insurmountable now. You can almost see the difference in the bench and the body language. They know they've got a chance. And now he tries to get it across to CD. Oh, he had the right idea, but couldn't make that play with the pass. Here's a short pass to Stinger. That goes off its way. Slip feed. Vancouver's got a hold of the puck and tries to make a diagonal pass to Cammy. The Blazers gain possession along the wall. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Cini. Now that pass doesn't go. Stopped by the goaltender. Cini's got it along the wing. Vancouver's got control of it now here in the offensive end. Denied that one. Puck scooped up by Spence. Takes the feed. And it's a quick pass to Spence. There's the whistle, offside is the call. He took a pretty good jolt there, James, and I think we should take another look. He seems a little shaken up. Past the halfway mark of this period, the Giants still trail by a goal here, but they are back into this one, only down by one. The Blazers play it along the wing. He comes up with a huge stop. Tendy's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. Puck ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. 
And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Picks off the feed. Feeds it on over to Camacho. And he slides it quickly to Spence. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. And there's the save. Takes the puck at the point. Can't out his man. Slides it across to Stinger. Scott's struggles are pretty obvious here. I mean, I'm watching him. He's not moving around on the ice very well. He needs to get off. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. Goes the puck. Alfredson's had a great game. He's already got three points and really been dynamic. Scott's still trying to shake off the effects of this hit. He really took a thump there. Vancouver's won the draw, and they take possession here in the open ice. Quick pass to Scott. And he takes the pass. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Denies him with the save. And the goaltender grabs that one for a whistle to try to slow things down here. In the final moments of this period, Montreal's got a one-goal lead here. They're up 4-3. Vancouver's won the face-off deep in their own end. Lou's got it in the defensive end. Steps inside the line. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Montreal's got it from the back of their own cage. Stinger's really hearing it from the crowd here. They're not happy with him. He caused that injury earlier to one of the hometown players, and they're going to let him hear it. Quick feed to Spence. Centering feed. And that doesn't connect. Sends the pass over. Can't get it to go. Alfredson's carrying it ahead. Rocks him. Vancouver's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Less than 60 seconds to play in this tight one. Bernier's going to offer for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around as the shift gets long. Ago, but now with the lead in the dying moments of the game, that's a safe, smart play. Strong defensive effort. The Blazers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Tries to feed it over to Cini. Tries to the crease. Denies them in close. Oh, wow, stops him again. Tendy's going to cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Both teams are set. We'll drop the puck here. Nice job tying up his opponent. And that somehow stayed out of the net. Picks up the puck in his own end. Can't make the connection on the pass. Vancouver's got it now. Pass broken up. There's the final horn, and this one's in the books. Well, fans were treated to a good one tonight. It could have gone either way until you really kind of look at the numbers, Razor. It seemed inevitable that they were going to win. They had the puck all the time. They really kind of had a handle on the way the game was being played, and eventually they got the well-earned two points.